Hey y'all, I just wanted to come on here and talk to y'all about, you know, different um, news topics and things going on around the world. And basically, I wanted to first, you know, start off about um, talking about, you know, President Trump and, you know, his new tweets that came out in reference to the like Obama administration. Um, I can't go into detail because they, they just came out and so um, the different news organizations are like still, you know, or looking into it and things like that. But I also um, wanted to talk about um, the Time Magazine um, edition, this particular edition right here where um, Time Magazine outlines the different uh, people who actually went to um, prison and um, they were because of wrongful conviction um, pretty much and you know pretty much this um, particular issue um, talks about like the Innocence Project and for those of y'all that don't know what the Innocence Project is it's a, um, like an organization of a group of people who work on various cases who try to prove people who um, were convicted and try to prove their innocence using DNA testing. And I thought the articles in this particular edition of Time um, were really interesting. Um, this edition I got from Walmart and it says that it'll be on display until May the 19th of 2017. And so, um, there's like various articles about men and women who were wrongfully convicted and uh, went to prison and some of them even were on death row and they um, were found innocent through the DNA testing um, and mind you guys um, some of these cases DNA testing wasn't prevalent back when some of these um, trials took place um, so the um, Innocence Project helped them with it and there's like various Innocence Projects around the nation um, and you can look online as well um, there's the um, you can just type in like in search engine Innocence Project and it'll like pop up and also, um, you can also look at the um, National Reg Registry of Exonerees, and it'll show like how many exonerations occurred. I know um, about like three weeks ago, it posted on the site that there was um, 1,982 exonerees, and then just recently, when I looked on it, had um, 2000. I was like, wow, you know, it's still counting and counting. I was reading a book, um, well, an excerpt of a book, where um, the author said that um, there is an exoneration that occurs, like, on average about every three days. And, um, you know, basically, you know, they get exonerated, meaning that, you know, they're free of any wrongdoing. So I thought that was interesting and um, some of the uh, cases I know um, I don't want to tell y'all like everything is in magazine but there is a couple in here their name is Peter Pringle and Sonny Jacobs and they were on death row there's a couple you see them um, basically they were um, charged with uh, murder and um, Basically, what happened was how they, they were free after years in being in jail and things. Um, basically, the person who had basically, you know, on their um, during their trial, the um, there was like a witness who like falsely accused him of like um, and there's like also like different articles in here talking about being falsely accused and about how um, some witnesses like eyewitness um, 
testimony, you know, misidentification, um, various different, you know, questioning that was involved and that sort of thing. And um, they have, you know, men and women in here. And um, here's one about a lady who had been charged um, after a little um, child had died. Um, she was a daycare worker and she was charged with murder. But um, she had actually confessed because she said that she um, basically, you know, while they were questioning her, she felt that, you know, because she kept questioning her, she felt that um, basically, you know, she was intimidated to confess that she did it. But, um, you know, there's other, like, cases in here. Um, even, like, some of these cases go all the way back to like, you know, the the um the eighties and um like seventies and things like that. So um there was a, there is another person here that had been in, you know, incarcerated for thirty five years and um basically, you know, she was proven innocent and she got out and um there were other people in here, um, men and things, and there's one I'm looking at now, where this guy, um, he was, um, he's Hispanic, and it said that basically, um, there was like some poor translation going on as far as what happened, and yeah, so he, you know, got incarcerated and things like that, but, um, yeah, I was, was interesting how, you know, it's that many cases and if you look at the national um uh, registry of John Reed, everything just keeps every day that number keeps increasing, increasing of how many people are like set free from their um supposed convictions because then they were wrongfully convicted, you know, and so I was like thinking, I was like, you know, how many other people are out there, you know, it's like it's it's like a challenge and you know it's sad to be after you yeah, had to spend all that time and not only that you know you know how like some people want to hear something you know they believe it they're like oh you know what well, it must be true and you know gossip spreads and even if the person still gets out from doing all that time like some people probably think well you know i don't care what they said they still did it they still did it you know that's <laughs> that's what they think but yeah i just thought it was interesting but um yeah y'all let me know what y'all think and um i'll hopefully talk to y'all soon all right y'all have a great day